This is BBC One in the North East and Cumbria. Now the BBC News with Clive Myrie and Jerry Jackson at 10 o'clock. At 10, the Conservatives suffer one of their worst set of local election results in decades as Labour wins new councillors across the country. They're celebrating winning control of Tory blue areas and holding on to others that were Labour red. Here in Redditch, Labour made big gains to win control of the council. They'll be hoping it's a sign they can win back parliamentary seats like this too at the general election. And there was a massive swing of over 26% to Labour in the Blackpool South by-election. But some cheer for the Tories as Ben Houchen holds on to the Mayor's office in Tees Valley. And I'll be here looking at some of the results in more detail to see what it might mean for the parties at the general election. Also tonight, a former post office lawyer is accused of lying over the Horizon IT scandal. Mr Singh, are you going to tell the truth today? Jainal Singh was involved in prosecuting an innocent woman. He says he didn't lie. Will you marry me? And will he or won't he? The last ever episode of Gavin and Stacey is coming this Christmas. And here in Look North, voters in the North East make history by electing Labour's Kim McGuinness as their first regional mayor. Meanwhile, the Conservative Lord Houchin is elected to the post of Mayor of the Tees Valley for a third term. Good evening to you. Two very different moods tonight in the Conservative and Labour camps after the local and mayoral elections. Rishi Sunak says it's disappointing to lose good, hard-working councillors after what's been a painful set of results so far for his party, some of the worst Tory losses in England for decades. On the other side, Labour, a jubilant cock-a-hoop at their gains across the country, including in the Blackpool South by-election, overturning a Conservative majority with a colossal 26% swing. Well, this is the latest state of play with the Conservatives down 436 councillors and Labour up 169. 